Hi class, so welcome back to this uh, video and I'm going to show you an example on how to solve this Rankine cycle problem in a steam power plant. Alright, so let's read this uh, question first. You have at the beginning of a process of an ideal reheat vapor cycle. So upon reading this, you already know that you are going to solve a reheat vapor cycle problem. Steam enters the high pressure turbine at a value of 8 megapascal and 500 degrees C. Recall back when you have a reheat problem, you will having two types of your turbine, which is one is high pressure, and then you are going to have another one, which is we name it as low pressure turbine. So let's read through this question first. The steam then leaves at 3 megapascal. At the boiler stage, the steam is then reheated until 500 degrees C before entering the low pressure turbine. At the final stage of the process, the steam enters the condenser at a value of 20 kPa. So you need to sketch the cycle on a TS diagram and then after that you need to determine the first one is your turbine output in kJ per kilogram and the overall thermal efficiency of the cycle. Okay, so how are we going to solve this thing? So already mentioned in here that we are going to solve for your ideal reheat vapor cycle. So first you need to plot your TS diagram. And because this is about your ideal reheat vapor cycle, so it's going to be like this. You have a low pressure. And then this is your high pressure. And you have first your high pressure turbine and then you are going to be reheated and then going up to your low pressure turbine. But we are going to make some amendments over here because going up from your low pressure turbine it must be in a mixture region. So your curve over here it looks like this all right so this is your condenser, this is your pump, this is where your boiler, this is your high pressure turbine and then going up from your high pressure turbine you will reheat it back and then this is your low pressure turbine. So let's label your cycle first. So input to your pump will be state 1, the output will be state 2, output from your boiler will be state 3 output from your high pressure turbine is state 4 your input to your low pressure turbine will be 5 and the output from your low pressure turbine will be state 6 alright so let's label what is given to you so you have the high pressure turbine is operating at 8 megapascal so this is your 8 megapascal and at 500 degrees C so this is your 500 degrees C I should have extend this uh, T plot over here but never mind you just put your T3 is equal to 500 degrees C and then the steam leaves at 3 megapascal so here what it says is leaves the high pressure turbine at 3 megapascal now you know that this pressure line over here this pressure line over here 
it's actually 3 megapascal so if you can extend this thing so you have 3 megapascal along this line 3 megapascal is along this line right okay at the boiler stage the steam is then reheated until 500 degrees C so now this is the reheated part and then it is reheated back to the same temperature over here so you will have your T5 is equal to 500 degrees C as well all right and then it says that at the final stage of the process the steam enters the condenser at a value of 20 kilopascal so this is where your condenser plays and the pressure given here is 20 kilopascal all right so now let's state all the things that you know over here so you have p2 is equal to your p3 which is equal to 8 megapascal and then you have your p4 is equal to your p5 which is equal to 3 megapascal and you have your p1 is equal to your p6 which is equal to 20 kilopascal and the assumption of your h1 is equal to your hf at 20 kilopascal so let's have a look at the the real question over here it asks you to find the turbine output which is you have two turbine over here so a is actually you need to find the work of your turbine which include high pressure turbine plus the work of your low pressure turbine and in this case the work of your high pressure turbine is in between stage 3 and stage 4 plus with your low pressure turbine is happening between stage 5 and stage 6 so next is for you to find your thermal cycle efficiency where you can make use of your work net over your Q in or 1 minus your Q out over your Q in but since the first question is asking you about your work turbine it is best if you make use of uh, this equation so that you will save time for not to find this Q out 